What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going over one of my favorite rifleman weapons in all Fall 76. We have the Lever Action Rifle. Starting off with the weapon, this is my 3 star legendary lever action rifle that we're going to be using for the video, and the main legendary effect is the quad effect, which is a plus 300% to ammo capacity, has bullets explode for 20% of the weapon's damage, and it also has a plus 250 damage resistance while reloading. Over in the mods, we're using the Vicious Receiver, Aligned Long Barrel, True Stock, Reflex Sight Circle, Suppressor, and the Leakins Repeater Paint. Now to begin our demonstrations with our all-powerful lever action rifle, we've made our way over to the one, the only, the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name Lancelot. And as you can see, he's snoozing away, so I'm going to start by shooting him in the back of the head. 193, 348, 348, another 348. Now we're of course going to get the most amount of damage inside of that, so here we go. 434, 686. Another 686, now we have a VATS critical lined up, with a 1,371 to finish him off. Not bad at all. The next targets on our list to fill the wrath of our lever action rifle are all the disgusting super mutants located at the West Tech Research Center, and we're gonna start with this guy right here. Let me see if I can get a face shot. 211, and a 380, and another 380 to finish him off. Not bad at all. Alright, we've got a face shot with a 497. 896 to finish him off, two shots and he's dead. A one shot and that super mutant's dead with a 1500, not bad at all. Poor, poor super mutant. We got a guy right over there. Let me just, wait just a second, wait just a second, wait just a second, there we go, fantastic. And he is dead with two shots. Hello brethren, you're gonna feel the power of my lever action. 1269, not bad at all. Uh oh, we've got two hounds over here, we got one back there, and he's dead instantly, and I killed that one. I don't know how I did that. I think he uh, he fainted or something, something like that. But uh, let me kill this guy. There we go. One shot, two shots, three shots, and he's dead. What about this guy back here? Can we hit him? One shot, and another two shots, and he's dead. Uh oh, I'm getting shot from behind. Don't know who's doing it. Where is they at? Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh god, oh god, oh god. It's a legendary, two star legendary. Come on, there we go. Come on, die. Now I've made my way to my arch nemesis of Vault 51, with the level 75 Scorched Overseer that goes by the name Brenda. We're just gonna lock onto our face and start shooting her. There we go, not bad at all. It's consistent damage, we got 984. Oh god, oh god, oh god, she's shooting at me. Oh god, oh god, oh god, you gotta be careful. Whew. That Gatling laser is extremely deadly, holy crap. Okay, let me just kill that guy, there we go, one shot. Now we're gonna continue to blast whoever, whoever walks in front of our bullets. There we go. Couple shots to her face, and she is no more. For our final target, we have one of the most vicious creatures in all of Appalachia. We have the level 100 Myler Queen that goes by the name Bulma. Let me just lock onto that thing real quick. There we go. Fantastic, fantastic. Now we're gonna blast her in the head. Okay, there we go. I think she knows exactly where I'm at. I'm just gonna keep turning in real quick. Oh god, she's getting really, really close. Excuse you, Bulma. Just relax. Stay over there, please and thank you. Just eat my bullets. She's almost dead, just a few more shots. There we go outside of that, and this Myler Queen is no more. Now over in the build, these are the base stats to make up our in-game rifleman build, so if you want to use the exact build I was using, this is the start. These are the base stats with the legendary perk cards equipped. Over the normal perk cards, these are the normal perk cards to make up our in-game rifleman build. Starting off in strength, we have 6, and this one can have traveling pharmacy at 3 stars. Weights of all kims, including stim packs, are reduced by 90%. We have blocker at 3 stars. Take 45% to less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. Over in perception, we have 15, and this one can have all the rifleman cards maxed out to get the maximum damage of this build. We have tank color at 3 stars. Your rifles and pistols ignore 36% armor and have a 9% chance to stagger. We have concentrated fire at 3 star. Vats target limbs, focus fire to gain high accuracy and damage per shot. Over in Endurance, we have 11 and this one can have fireproof at 3 stars. Take 45% less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have Radical at 1 star. The greater the rads, the greater the strength, and max plus 5 to strength. We have Rejuvenated at 2 stars. You gain even better benefits from being fully fed or fully hydrated. We have Ironclad at 2 stars. Gain a plus 20 to resistance to damage and energy while not wearing power armor. We have Kinfeed at 3 stars. Any Kims you take lasts 100% longer, and we did take Overdrive and Psychotats in this video. Over in Charisma, we have 6 and this one can have Filter Surgeon at 1 star. Stim Packs and Radaway will now work much more quickly. We have Tenderizer at 3 stars. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you tag. 
We have Stranger Numbers at 1 star. Positive mutation effects are plus 25% stronger if your teammates are also mutated. Over in Intelligence, we have 8 and this one can have Nerdridge at 3 stars. While both 20% health, gain 40 damage resist, 20% to damage, and 15% to AP regen. We have Demolition Expert at 5 stars. Your Explosives do plus 60% to damage. Over in Agility, we have 15 and this one can have Action Boy at 3 stars. Action Points will generate 45% faster. We have Adrenaline at 5 stars. Gain a plus 10% to max 60% to damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. We have Cover Operative at 3 stars. Your range attacks do an additional 50% sneak attack damage. We have Sneak at 3 stars. You are 75% harder to detect while sneaking. We have Escape Artist at 1 star. Sneak to lose enemies and running no longer affects stealth. Over in Luck, we have 15 and this one can have Bloody Mess at 3 stars. 15% of bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory paste. We have Starch Genes at 2 stars. You'll never mutate from Rads and Radway will never cure your mutations. We have better criticals at 3 stars. Vatch criticals now do plus 100% to damage. We have Serendipity at 3 stars. While both 30% health can have 45% chance to avoid damage, no power armor. We have 4 leaf cover at 3 stars. Each hit Vats has an excellent chance to fill your critical meter. And we have Critical Savvy at 1 star. Critical hits now only consume 85% of your critical meter. Over in Legendary Perk Cards, these are the Legendary Perk Cards that help make up our in-game build. Starting off in Strength, we have that card maxed out. We have Endurance maxed out. Intelligence maxed out. Luck maxed out. Fall Through maxed out. And Far Flung Fireworks at 3 stars. These are the legendary perk cards, now let's get into my armor buffs and mutations. Over in the armor, what I'm using is a full set of unyielding gear, which gives me a gain up to plus 3 to all stats except endurance when low health, and since we're a low health bully build, this is absolutely amazing. Over my backpack, what I used is my trusty normal backpack with the high capacity mod to get a plus 120 to our carry weight. Over in the under armor, what I'm using is my shielded secret service under armor to get a plus 4 to our strength, a plus 2 to our perception, and a plus 4 to our endurance. Over the mutations, these are the mutations that we use for the build. We have adrenal reaction, bird bones, eagle eyes, egghead, healing factor, herbivore, marsupial, skull skin, and speed demon. Over in the buffs, starting off with our food buffs, we're using mute fruit juice to get a plus 2 to our agility, simple firm flower tea to get a plus 2 to our strength, Tato Juice to get a plus 20 to our max AP, Blight Soup to get a plus 100% to our critical damage, Carrot Soup to get a plus 4 to perception, and of course a perfect bubblegum that way our hunger and thirst mirrors do not increase. Over in our Kim buffs we're using Overdrive to get a plus 13% to our critical damage, and Psycho Tats to get a plus 1.35 to our perception, damage resist increase, and a plus 11% to our damage. If you enjoy fall content like this and you want to see more, I also made a video over one of my best starter builds in all Fall 76, my budget heavy gunner build. So if you want to check it out, I'll link it in the screen right now. You see that? That is my heavy gunner video.